the big hurry. If Dr. Carroll is not extracted tonight, Data Dime will put him through mind conditioning. And we'll lose our best chance of finding out what Data Dime are up to. Are they all expendable? Don't joke. You have to be careful, Joanna. Code keys will only operate while the owner is alive. If you kill them, the key is useless. Our guards are a different matter, of course. What's the target location? Work your way down the building to the ground level. Dr. Cowell will be in a research lab somewhere in the underground facility. How will I recognize him? We don't have an image record, and we can't find any official files. All we have is the name. Good luck, Dr. McDark. God, I absolutely love this game. So, I'm gonna go through the story. Probably gonna do two or three levels today. I'm fairly confident I can get through these pretty quickly at this point. So. Fuck out of here. No! No, I wanted this one. Yeah, we'll probably do the two or three starting Datadyne levels in this part. Um, absolutely one of my favorite favorite games of all time, to be honest. This guy's throwing a grenade. Can't have that. Nope, don't care about you. Don't care about you neither. Done. Time. Hey, accuracy is 50%. Not bad. Are you a little old to be a sentry? What? Wow! Fuck you, old man. Alright. I'll just do this way. Get these few guys over here. Get the ammo. Your auto aim doesn't work if they're sitting down. There we go. Can I time it right so the bot's opening up that side service door? Hey, he's back here. Okay, perfect. Not like I need to go through there in, in this difficulty mode. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go through the front. Okay, so... Every time I play this level... I forget to take a picture of the... This fucking thing. But every time I take out the cam spy, someone sneaks up on me. Okay, screw it, we're going for it. Where's the cam spy? There it is. There you go. Now I'm just playing on agent. Because I don't... I'm, I'm lazy and I don't feel like being challenged today. So... We're just gonna... I grab the K7. Oh, it's in the room back. Screw it. The assault rifle you can get at the first in the first room back there. The K7 Avenger. But I don't need it. In a few rooms, some dudes are gonna be running around with dragons. Oh, look at that timing. This thing's usually a bitch. You have to wait for it. It's worse when you catch it on its way back. Come on, dude. Let's 
Let's go. God. Some elite guard these guys are. Data uplink. So yeah, in the arcade mode, I still have uh, one challenge left to do. Challenge 30. I might attempt that again soon. It took me it took me like a week to do challenge 29. They're kind of bullshit. I mean, I already got the trophy for it, but... For the achievement, sorry. But still, I want to have them all done, you know? Thank you for your dragons. So if you don't mind. Haha. -ha. Some defense system you are. <laughs> I thought I was at least gonna have to hide behind that crate, but no, they just, they were just like, we're gonna just shoot behind you as, as a encouragement. Yes, all clear. That lip syncing though. What? You? Very professionally done, my dear. But there's no time to waste. You must leave immediately. Come on. I have vital information. Oh, I'm ranked 23,485. Fuck yeah. That dude still passed out in the elevator. Sound the alarm, she's here. Lights out. So what, she just get on the elevator and was like, oh, I'm still in a building, so I'm gonna throw on my scope. Uh, do I have night vision? Yes, I do. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, I missed him. Aiming in this game sucks. Okay, CMP, come to me. Come on. Ah. Hey. I always love how the AI asks, why me, when you kill them, it's like, well, you shot at me for one, for two, you're evil. Hey, the timing on that too, huh? I think I have to get Cassandra's... Oh, I gotta defeat her bodyguards. Okay, that's not an issue. That's in Secret Agent that you have to get her pendant or whatever. I believe it's on this level. Oh, shut up. There's a key card. There you go. Sandra's office key card. Nice. Beautiful. Sands with bodyguards, yeah, they have shotguns. Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm sorry. Double tap. Very important. Listen here. You wanna don't be a snitch. Alright, uh I think it'd be best to use the CMP in this scenario. We meet again, girl. You've become quite an annoyance. Ah, fuck you. When in doubt, use your muzzle flash to light up the room. 
I literally did nothing. All she does is stand up there and gloat. Does the typical bad guy, oh, I'm so superior, yada yada yada. Shut up. So I just decided to cut it quick and just, you know, fuck her bodyguards up. Going somewhere. Something I can do for you, old woman. Return our sapient immediately. You don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I'm leaving. One more chance. Give it back. And you could come and work for me. Gotta shoot. Nice. You must get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. Ooh. I also know who to talk to. Mr. Carrington. Guy in the way to... Guy in the way turtleneck looks pretty rapey. Let's see. Oh, I'm ranked 22,531. Look at me go. Carrington Villa. Yeah, we'll do Villa. Agent Dark, mission log 1846 hours. Last night, we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A data dying team had taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast. And they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the data dying hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Data Dine squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line. Okay, time to fuck this up. Oh! I can't believe I actually got that. I usually have to retry that like two or three times. Oh, got you in the head while you were proning. Ooh, the skip. Hope you don't mind if I drop in. <laughs> See, so, you know Joanna's like a female James Bond, but one thing she's seriously lacking are puns. Let me check my objectives here before that dude falls off. Save the negotiator, activate the generator, save Carrington. Okay, I don't even have to take out these snipers then. Screw them. Not even gonna bother. I wonder if I could... Oh wow, the auto-aim is actually working on this guy. Huh. Just about to say, I wonder if I could actually hit him from here, but the auto aim kind of was just like, yeah, you know what, you can. Try it. Dude in here taking a shit. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Double tap. Gun's jammed. God. You guys are pushovers, dude. I'll give you a shot. Wow, really? Then I proceed to miss 30 bullets. Guys just having a casual conversation, huh? Not on my watch. No fun here. Now this part is where I always get turned around in this game. Like, I've beat this game probably 60 times. That's... That's on the low end. If I were guessing, but I always get lost here. See, that leads out to the docks. Now, every time I figure out it's figure it out, it's like I should have made a right turn where I made a left, or this. See? Good fuck. 
I don't even think I've been shot yet. I've got a clear shot. Have I even been hit? How do I can I check that? I guess not. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've taken a hit yet. If I get the wind generator back online, I'll get power to the lower basement. Oh. Oh, give me a second. Thank you. Generators on. Come here. No. Stranger danger. Yeah, I don't think I've been shot, even shot this level. Cool. There we go. I think I need a key card. I don't remember. You think I'd remember more about this game? If somebody's out oh, there, that was my first hit. God damn it! I almost had a flawless mission. Really? Where the fuck's the key card? Ugh. Give me a second while I look for it. Fuck your wine. What, are you, what even is this? Anyway, fuck it. Don't you value your liver? Double tap. Oh, jeez. Oh. Sarah, are you injured? No, John. I went the wrong I'm way. Okay. But those data dime thugs made me tell them where Do you know Daniel Carrington's come? likeness was based I off Robin Williams? Minutes more. I always found that interesting, but yeah, apparently that's who he's based off of. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, on the N64 he looks a lot worse, so it's a lot more believable, but... This one, he looks... He looks kind of like Mark Ruffalo if he were to, got, were to have been stung by many bees and was going into anaphylactic shock. I think that's the proper thing, anaphylactic shock. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did. And I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks they'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Datadyne. <laughs> 